Let's take a look at the breaker rooms. Uh, there is a previous video that does show how to pre-create breaker rooms, so you might want to check that out. And if you do have pre-created breaker rooms, when you click into the rooms area, you would actually see them. In my case, this meeting does not have pre-created ones, so I can only make them on the fly. And you can see I get to choose the number of rooms I want to make, up to 50. And I get to choose, do I want to automatically assign the people to the room or manually? If it's manually, then well, I'll have to manually do it. But when I create the rooms, you can see it takes a second to create. And then I'd be able to start signing the participants. I could say, well, this person I want in meeting room one. If I had a bunch of people, I could select the checkbox beside a bunch of people at once and move them to the room. And once I clicked save, it would assign them all. And I can add more rooms if I want. I can delete rooms. You may want to take a second to look at the room settings really quick as well. When I click into here, there's a few things. Uh, I can pres assign presenters. So maybe I have people who are going to kind of lead the breakout rooms. I could set a time limit if I wanted to. I personally like the people being automatically moved, but you can make it so they move themselves. This setting is the one I usually like to change. The idea of letting people return to the main meeting I like that because if something's going wrong, my students can come back and get me. If I'm in the main room, hopefully I'm stopping in and checking on the different rooms anyway, but this means they can come in and get me to come into the breaker room and meet with them. So often I'll turn that on, click save, and when I'm ready, I'll go back out to the meeting. And when I'm ready, if I click open, the meeting would get created or the breakout rooms would get created. They would get sent out to them and once that's true, it's worth noting this icon right here, the make an announcement, allows me to send out an announcement to all the breakout rooms. So if I do want to send out a reminder to students saying, this is what you're supposed to be working on, or, oh, we only have five minutes left, this is a convenient way to do it, rather than having to go into each room individually. But let's take a quick look to open it. Again, you can see it takes a second. They are moving the people. Room one's been opened. Room two doesn't have anyone in it. When I click the three dots beside the name, again, I have things like rename, close room, and even the join room. So if I want to see what's going on in that breakout room, I would need to join it. I can either close individual rooms or close all of them, which would bring everyone back to the main room.